Hey guys, Way Back Rewind here. Today I want to talk about a camcorder my brother found in his junk drawer, the JVC GZ MG30. Had no battery, didn't really know what was on it. I did some research to only to find out this was the first ever hard drive camcorder. I'm going to check out its features and review it for you here. Coming up next on Way Back Rewind. Okay, let's get started. My brother found this in a drawer. Not sure if it even works. Not sure what's on it. It's a hard drive camcorder. It could have up to 14 hours of video. Hopefully there's nothing embarrassing. Generally when I get these cameras, you find the normal things on here like birthdays, weddings, Christmas, that kind of thing. I don't expect this one to be any different but he doesn't even remember owning this camera, so no telling where it came from. Came with no battery, so I'm gonna install a battery for the first time, see what happens. Assume this is the correct battery. Assume it has enough charge on it to at least light up. A lot of assumptions there. I didn't download the manual. Perhaps I should have. It's making a lot of grinding sound, which is never good. How does it turn on? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the on-off switch. That's a good sign. It's lighting up. I was going to say it's all white, but my background is white. Give it a little bit of a background here. Whitey tidy is working. That's a good sign. Okay, give it something to focus on. The whitey tidy is working. Let's go into playback mode and see what we got. I don't know why it's blinking. Hard disk is full. That's a little ominous. All right, let's see what's on this hard disk. 17 videos, very long videos. This is not a touch screen. Looks like a concert of some kind. This is not a concert, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. So we have here JVC's 2006 GZ MG30. According to JVC, this was the first hard drive camcorder on the market. That makes it kind of special. I believe it because the videos on here are from 2006. 2006 was very early in the camcorder market. This camera is roughly a contemporary of my Panasonic SDR H18 seen here with the wide angle attachment on it. This was the camera that I bought in 2008. My first non-tape based camera. This JVC apparently beat it to the market by two years. Hard drive camcorders were great and in some ways they're even better than the cameras we have today. I mean there's no risk of erasing anything. You know with a tape based camera you have to always be careful about what's on the tape when you start recording that you have got it in the correct position. You've got direct access to the videos here. You can have no cost because you, you buy this and all of the recording time that you need is on the hard drive that's permanently installed. 
and you can record for a long time. Depending on the quality, this says up to 14 hours in normal. I would always record in the highest quality, but even in the highest quality, you have seven hours. And this camera is going to have enough capability to shoot for as long as you need to shoot. And in some ways, that's better than the today's cameras with SD cards. I'm embarrassed to tell you, but more than one occasion, I have gone on a shoot and taken my camera and forgot the SD card back home, still in the computer. And next thing you know, the camera is now paperweight because I cannot record the thing that I need to record. And so having a hard drive built in that's always there, always ready to go, is an advantage over today's cameras in that sense. In addition to looking up the owner's manual, there was one thing on this camera that was completely non-intuitive. I couldn't figure out. So if you watch one of these videos, uh, I'm here watching the video, and I was like, how do you get back to the index? There's no stop button. So it's kind of non-intuitive. You press pause, and then you press wide angle, and that takes you back to the index. I never would have figured that out. And also, there's an SD card slot on here. Supposedly, you can record video to the SD card. I have not found any SD cards that this camera likes. I've tried large ones, I've tried small ones, SDXC, XDHC, and so far it completely ignores that the card is there. So I don't know if the camera is defective or if it's just very picky about the type of cards it needs, but I have not found a card that it likes. But either way, this hard drive is completely full, but it has a lot of videos on here. 18 is 18 pages, so 18 times 9, whatever that is. That's how many videos are showing. It actually has a lot more videos than that. The previous owner had renamed a lot of the videos and given them more descriptive titles. And once the owner gave them those descriptive titles, they would no longer show up here in the index. So a little detective work. I was able to find out this was my brother's nephew's camera. My brother came into possession of this when his brother-in-law passed away. The newest video on here is from 2011. It's one of the things I liked about the hard drive cameras, probably every video this camera has ever recorded is stored in the hard drive from 2006 to 2011. All of that will fit on a 32 gig card. I'm going to put those videos on a card and give it to my brother's nephew. He's probably long since forgotten that he ever shot videos on this camera, but it'll be a nice little surprise for him to see those videos. Other than that, being that it claims to be the first ever hard drive camcorder, it is notable in how small it is. They are about the same size. This one is a tiny bit smaller than the Panasonic that came out two years later. Neither of them have viewfinders. When the hard drive camcorder era began, that's when viewfinders started disappearing. The other thing, this one does have the USB, the old school USB. I was able to plug this into the computer and download those hundreds of videos that are on here. It has an audio video out. And it also, interestingly, has an S video out, which is unusual to find on a digital camcorder. The other interesting thing about this camera, it has a, a video in a still mode, but it does not have a separate still button. Most of these cameras, you'll it'll have a separate still button. This one uses the record button as the snap button, which is kind of unusual. It does have a light, which is nice. This particular camera does not have a light. This one has more of a wide screen. This one does have a wide mode. Another interesting thing, I can't quite understand, but when I powered this camera up, it probably had not been powered up in over a decade, and yet somehow the time was correct. I have no idea how that's possible. Many of my newer cameras, after being without power for a month, they wake up and don't have the time correct. This camera woke up after I don't know how long and the time was correct. That's pretty amazing. The quality is standard definition, you know, 720 by 480, nothing to write home about. In today's world, a standard definition camera is, you know, not all that useful. It, it looks horrible when you play it on a digital TV. This one has an incredibly small 27 millimeter lens. Not sure what you would use this camera for other than nostalgia. It does have a DC adapter here. Almost didn't see that earlier. I don't have the DC adapter. I just bought the battery and the charger. So other than that, this is a very typical 2006 camcorder. Impressive, if true, that this is the first ever hard drive camcorder. Add this to my collection as a first. We do have a good example of a 2006 hard drive camcorder, functional in standard definition. I'll be able to return the videos to the original owner. That's kind of neat.
And there you have it, the JVC GZ MG30 hard drive camcorder from 2006. If you found this interesting, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.